evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Poultry producers Caribbean Broilers has commissioned a multi-million U.S. dollar solar project to provide energy to four of its locations. It's said to be one of the largest commercial solar projects in the region. Poultry processes are energy intensive. However, CB Group is looking to cut its energy bill and increase environmental resilience. The company has spent about 3 million US dollars or roughly 473 million Jamaican dollars to commission solar photovoltaic power plants in four locations across the country. Largest in Jamaica and one of the largest for sure in the Caribbean region. Angela Rainford is the CEO of Soleco the company which did the build-out for the CB Group. The addition of the new systems should cut the company's traditional energy needs by 30%. So Freetown is the largest site that's in Clarendon, that's over one megawatt, that's 1.09 megawatt peak. We have Newport Mills, which is a feed mill, just along Marcus Garvey Drive, 501.05 kilowatt peak. Linstead, which is where we are today, number three, bronze medal for Linstead, 300.3 kilowatt peak. And Old Harbor, last but definitely not least, 183.15 kilowatt peak, 2.1 megawatt peak total. CEO of CB Group Matthew Lin says the company has invested in a number of other green projects. We've invested in our own water facilities, we've invested in waste management facilities, we've even seeded small companies with investments um, to try and do better. Companies that are in this environmental space selling uh, um, environmentally friendly disposable products instead of the plastic that you see that um, litters our streets. We choose solar, we choose renewables, we choose clean energy um, and it's not just to save money, it is for the impact it has on our environment. Agriculture Minister Floyd Green says the solar project aligns with the ministry's overall strategy. What we are focusing on is propelling agribusiness development, promoting and optimizing climate smart technology, all of this to tie together to achieve food security while facilitating a growing export expansion. So by leveraging renewable energy sources, including but not limited to solar power, we can enhance efficiencies, we can reduce production costs, we can mitigate our environmental impact, thus ensuring resilience and longevity in agriculture. For the Business Day, I'm Javon Keyes. Come tomorrow, motorists should pay less for gas. Each liter of 87 gasoline will cost $4.50 less. 90 gasoline will decline by $3.06. Diesel will sell for $4.47 less and $4.50 will be cut from the cost of ultra-low sulfur diesel. Kerosene will decline by $4.15 while propane and butane will go down by $3.06. The Jamaican dollar gained 9 cents against the U.S. currency at the close of trading on Wednesday. Trading ended with banks and cambios selling the American dollar for an average $157.47. The Canadian dollar is being sold for $115.22. $195.54 is the average value of the pound, while the euro is going for $171.71. And to the stock market now, the JSE index lost 45 points today, while the junior market declined by two points. Among the 50 winners, Berger Paints, Carbon Assurance Brokers, Everything Fresh, Blue Power Group and 138 Student Living Jamaica. The 42 losers include The Lab, First Rock Real Estate Investments, Margaritaville Turks US Dollar Shares, Sagicor Real Estate X Fund and Cygnus Real Estate Financial Jamaican Dollar Shares. 17 stocks closed the session, selling at the same price they started trading. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.